Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. My name is Kat. I am the Nurse Slipper. If this is your first time here. I am going to show you what sold over the weekend, and this is probably our worst weekend all year. So we have a little over $500 going out, only 15 items, some good stuff. So what I'm going to do is show you the ones I have in hand, and then I will show you some of what sold last week as well. So let's go ahead and take a look right now. So up first is this Colorado tile and this one is a Masterworks Wonderful Art Tiles. I know that because it's written on the back. This one I paid a dollar. It sold for $10.26. So it's about a $7 profit. There is the back. I like picking up tiles. Some of them can be pretty valuable selling for like $40 to $100 for this size. This one took about a year and like I said about a $7 profit on this one. Up next is actually going out to a viewer. This is going out to Miss Janice. So Miss Janice, thank you so much for your purchase. Miss Janice got this gorgeous pottery spoon rest from me. And this one's actually signed by the artist. I was not able to identify that. So this could be a valuable piece of pottery, but it is beautiful regardless of who the maker is. Miss Janice picked it up for $19.58. I paid about $2, so it's going to be about a $12 profit and this one took about a year to sell as well so again miss janice thank you so much for your purchase and if you see brooke there walking back and forth she is packing up our whatnot sales from our whatnot sale we had last night up next is this teeny tiny Lewis Mydeke piece. So Lewis Mydeke didn't do a ton of cobalt blue, so I did price up on my cobalt blue. You can see it is signed Mydeke, and this little cup, or it could be a pot or a planter, this one sold for $77.83. I paid about $8, so this one's actually about a $60 profit, and it took about six to eight months to sell. Up next is a cute little broom doll. This was probably handmade. She is very, very cute on an old broom. I picked her up for a dollar. She says, live well, laugh often, love much. And she does have a hanger here. So picked her up for a dollar. She sold for $17.48. So she's about a $14 profit. And she also is a long tail item and took over a year to sell. And then we have a fast selling item. This Harley Davidson orange plaid shirt. I picked this up for $5 at a garage sale. It's really nice on the front and the back. You can see there is embroidery on both. There's the front. And this one I paid five. It sold for $34.99 plus the buyer paid shipping. So it's about a $25 profit and it sold in under a month. So pretty fast on the Harley shirt. And then we sold a Harley pen. This is Harley Davidson Wings pen. I paid a dollar. This one sold for $9.33. Took about six months to sell, and it is about a $6 profit. And then next there are some eggs. These are alabaster stone eggs. There are three of them. These actually sold in under a month. They sold for $15.74. I got them in a lot. I'm only a couple dollars in, so they're about a $12 profit. Next is a really, really pretty Christmas ornament. This hand painted, it's got red, green, and gold glitter, hand blown. This one, I paid a dollar and it sold for $27.99. So this one's actually about a $20 profit and it sold in about four months. And then this little Fire King Peach Luster Cup sold for $7.34. I paid less than a dollar. I bought it in a big glass lot, so it's about a $5 profit. And this one sold in about six months. Up next is a Nike Air t-shirt. So this one I picked up in an online high bid lot. It is a size XXL. And this one I paid about $3. It sold for $22. So it's going to be about a $15 profit. And it sold in just a little over a month. So that one was pretty fast selling as well. 
All right, we've just got a couple more on eBay that are going out today. Then I'm going to show you from the other platforms that sold over the weekend. And then I'll show you what sold over last week. So this is actually the highest sale going out this weekend. It is a Longa Burger Collector's Club Basset. Basket. <laughs> and it is a cupcake. So you can see the little colorful basket there and the cupcake top. This one actually sold for $100. I paid about 10. So this one's about a $70 profit and it sold in about three months. And I have another one of these still. So I knew when I bought this lot, these were actually the ones I bought them for that they sold really, really high. Up next is another viewer sale. This is going out to Miss Kathy. Miss Kathy got this awesome Harley Davidson with the American flag behind the eagle. This is a Gainesville Florida Gator one. Pick this up for $3. Miss Kathy got it for $18. So it will be about a $12 profit sold in under a month. Miss Kathy, thank you so much. I greatly appreciate this purchase as well as your many purchases over on whatnot. We really, really appreciate you. And now we are going to look at what sold over on the other platform. We do have some going out on Poshmark, Mercari, and Etsy. So first on Poshmark is another Nutcracker. So we've sold a lot of Nutcracker. She's got her little shopping bags and she does work, you can see here. And she sold on Poshmark for $25 and I paid only a couple dollars for her, so she's gonna be about a $15 profit. And then next is this really cool vintage Native American rattle. It does have the feather there on the end. This rattle sold for 23 on Poshmark. I paid about five, so this one's about a $12 profit. And then over on Mercari, I just picked this Dolphins hat up at a yard sale not long ago. I picked this up for $2. It sold for $20 on Mercari, so it's about a $15 profit. And it is Proline, and it sold in under a month. Also over on Mercari, I sold this scrub top. So this has got puppy dogs on it. I picked this up the same day, actually, from a different yard sale. Paid a dollar for this one. It is Scrub Star and it is an extra small, which can be harder to sell. It sold for 10. I paid a dollar, so it's about a $7 profit. And then we had one Etsy sale. That is this Pray For Us St. Joseph wall plaque. This one actually sold for $40 over on Etsy. I only paid a dollar, so this one's about a $30 profit after fees. And that is it, our slowest weekend of the year. We're gonna hop over now, take a look at some of the sales that sold over the rest of last week. All right, guys, I am going to cut in here since we didn't have very much sell today on Monday. And I am going to show you what sold the rest of last week to add on to this video and give you a little more sales to see. All right, so first up is a Hooters hat. This Hooters hat I picked up at a yard sale. I'm about $2 in and it sold in under a week. Really, really fast. This is a vintage Hooters hat. Sold for $9.44. It's about a $5 profit, but it was a really fast sale. The buyer did pay shipping of $5.85 and happy to see it go out the door fast. Um, next is a Harley Davidson pen. We have had these for about six months now. This one I paid a dollar for and it sold for $15. So about a $13 profit. This is a Harley Davidson piggy bank gas tank pen and the buyer did pay shipping. So it took about six months and about a $12 profit. Up next is a little Namaji vase. This one also sold very fast. It sold in under a week. I only paid 50 cents for this vase. This vintage Namaji was actually only about three and a half inches tall. I paid 50 cents. It sold for $17.49. You can see I took a picture there of the paperwork because it was folded up inside of the little vase and that was about a $13 profit. And again, it sold very fast. Up next is a pen that I found in my Harley Davidson lot but it was from the band The Who. This 
vintage rock memorabilia who band silver tone pen sold in about six months it sold for twenty dollars and 98 cents again i only paid a dollar so that is about a 15 dollar profit up next is a scarf that sold in about two months really really pretty pink floral pattern this is a vintage hanky or scarf pink and purple flowers i paid less than a dollar it sold for 13.98 in under two months and it is about a nine dollar profit up next these took a little bit longer to sell there's some really cool shell pottery pieces these are California Pottery USA White Seashell. Did take a while to sell, but sold for $15. I made about a $10 profit, and the buyer did pay $18 in shipping on these because these were a two-pound rate, and I'm assuming it probably went to the West Coast. Up next is some Wedgwood. So I get asked all the time about, like, should you split it up or should you put it together? Well, my kind of rule is if it doesn't sell for $15 by itself and I have more that are like it, I will lot it up. So this set of four Wedgwood sold for $15. These are set of four little cigar ashtrays. They were exactly the same, so I did lot them up. I paid $4. They took about eight months to sell they sold for fifteen dollars they're about an eight to nine dollar profit and these are really really easy to ship because they're smaller breakables and these actually went international up next is a crazy little chicken it's a little rooster statue made of metal but it sold for 22 bucks this is a vintage rooster statue we did put vivid colors hand welded metal Sold for $20.99. I paid less than a dollar in an online auction lot, and the buyer did pay 10 in shipping. Fast sale on that one, and about a $15 profit. Up next is a Michael Katz Tora pen. I actually bought five of these in a lot. I paid about $5 each, and it took about six months to sell. So this is a signed Michael Katz Tora. 2000 to 2001 judaism pen sold for 13 dollars. so i only made about five dollars on this one but in that lot there were several that were worth quite a bit more so this one was an okay profit not great but i will take it up next was a really good sale really fast found these at a garage sale i believe she had five dollars on them each i ended up paying four each so i'm eight dollars into these they sold in under a week this is majolica vintage secla portugal figural cow these were little butter dishes so i'm eight dollars in they sold for 41.99 the buyer did pay shipping sold really fast and about a 25 dollar profit next is some tea towels if you do not know this type of style it is called huck i actually learned it from one of you so to whoever taught me that thank you so much these two towels sold for over 20 bucks these are two huck embroidered tea towels there was a beautiful lavender and a green one they sold for 20.98 i paid two dollars i actually got these from an estate sale from george the antique nomad and they are about a 14 dollar profit they did take about six months to sell and then we have a license plate this one sold for 14 this is a vintage indiana 1954 collectible license plate sold for 14 i paid a dollar so this one is about a ten dollar profit and it sold in three months and then we have some asparagus this is a mercury glass asparagus ornament i love selling individual ornaments they really are not that hard to pack i do use bubble wrap from american bubble boy it's really cheap gets delivered to you in two days after you order it and you can use a lot because it's so cheap. So I normally ship these ornaments in eight by six by four boxes, which I get with my free eBay coupon for shipping supplies. And let me show you. This is a vintage glass hand-blown asparagus vegetable ornament sold for $13.99. I paid a dollar. It is about a $9 profit and sold in about three months. Next is an oyster 
plate. This one's a pretty cool serving plate and I tell you all the time to watch out for oyster plates because they can bring really big money. This one was only a little under $50 but still a good sale considering I only paid five but some of the porcelain ones can bring big money. So this is a vintage silver plate oyster or caviar serving set of five trays sold for $48.98. I paid five so it's about a $35 profit. It did take about a year to sell so it was a little bit longer tail but still a good profit on that one. Next is a scarf. So I tell you all the time, I like picking up scarves. I like picking up handkerchiefs. They only cost me a dollar and they don't take up a ton of room either. So if they're a little longer tail, it's okay. This next one though sold in under two months. It's a vintage Echo scarf. This is a vintage Echo handkerchief black and white striped scarf sold for $10. I paid a dollar. So it's about a $7 profit and it sold in two months. All right, we have got another hat from that garage sale I went to. I bought the hats off the wall. So if you have not watched Cat's Treasure Hunting channel, that is my other channel where I go to garage sales, thrift stores, things like that. Definitely go over and check that one out. This hat I paid $2 and it sold for $35 in under a week. This is a vintage Miami Dolphins Color Wave NFL adjustable hat sold for $35. I paid two, so it's about a $25 profit, and it sold very, very fast. All right, this next one was tea tiny, like two inches, a little tea tiny pitcher. And again, they're so easy to ship. That little breakable can go in a little four by four box surrounded by bubble wrap that only cost, you know, under 50 cents, and it was a good profit. This is a vintage miniature Dutch woman vase, bud vase or toothpick holder. It sold for 17. I only paid 50 cents. So it's about a $12 profit and it sold in about three months. And then we sold another Longa Burger basket. This one was not a big profit because when I buy the Longa Burger baskets, I actually buy them in lots and I pay, I figure out my average cost for all of them. So with the Longa Burger baskets, it was $8 for each, but some of those have sold for $100. So some of these aren't big profits because I'm looking at those ones that are. So I paid eight, this one sold for 15. This is a 1995 Heartland Berry Basket. It looks big, but it's actually only about eight inches. Sold for 15, so it's actually only about a $5 profit. And then, again, the tiny breakables, they're not hard to ship. This is two tiny little kitty cats. Two tiny kitty cats that sold in under a month. These two vintage cat figurines sold for $20.99. I paid less than a dollar. So these are a $15 profit. Super easy to wrap and ship in an eight by six by four box and a great sale. Next are some vents. So these vents only sold for $10. But, and if you haven't been watching my channel a while, you wouldn't have seen this. I bought a whole pallet of like 500 of these things for $5. So I'm like a tenth of a penny into each. Sold two for $10. I'll show you what they look like. But I bought them on an online high bid auction. They were basically overstock. I have plenty of room to store them and they just keep selling and selling. So it's all profit at this point. It's been all profit since the first two sold. So they are 12 by eight, true air, smooth glide, adjustable, three-way ceiling or floor vents, sold for 10. Again, only about an $8 profit after fees, but I have sold hundreds of them. Next is a Longa Burger basket liner. Again, bought a whole big lot of them, less than a dollar into each as far as the cloth items. So a lot less than I am into the baskets. And this one sold for $18.45. And it sold in under three months. It's a picnic played server tray liner sold for $18.45. So it's about a $14 profit and it sold in under two months. Next is another hat. I love selling hats. I pick them up for a dollar or two. They're easy to list, easy to ship. I also ship those in the eight by six by four boxes. This one was a Stubbs Australia hat. So it's a white rum hat. And it sold for $27.98. I paid a dollar. This is a $20 profit and it sold in just a couple of months. 
And then another thing I can get in big lots typically is vintage kitchen utensils. When you go to garage sales and estate sales, you can get like a whole bag of them for cheap, which is how I got these. And this vintage hand mixer sold for 14. This is a vintage Echo Obesto hand mixer. Beater Vintage sold for $13.99. I paid a dollar. It's about an $8 profit and it took about three months to sell. And then we sold a scarf. Again, buy them cheap and they make a good profit. This is a hand-framed knitted black scarf. It was 100% new wool. It did have the tag on it. This one did take about a year to sell, but I only paid a dollar. It sold for $24.49, making it about an $18 profit. And another item, easy to list, easy to ship. You can see my mannequin I use there. And I did get that off Amazon, and I do have that in my link down in the description if you are interested in getting one. Next is another long tail item. I am okay with them. This is a beautiful studio art pottery mug. This coffee cup hand slab formed studio art pottery. I paid a dollar. It sold for 14. Took about a year. It's about a nine dollar profit and the buyer did pay shipping on that. I don't pick up a ton of these only if I think they're really cool and I can get them for a really good price. And then a license plate that sold for $49.99. Again, paid a dollar for all of them. Most of them are going to sell for $8 to $12. But then I have that handful that sell for $50, $100, $200. And that to me is what buying those lots is about, is finding those high dollar ones. They pay for the whole lot and then the rest is profit. So let me show you this one that sold for $49.99. This is a vintage 1962 Missouri license plate. This one sold for $49.99. I paid a dollar. It's about a $40 profit sold in three months and the buyer did pay shipping. And then the last couple of items were also both from lots. So I am a big lot buyer because I have space and I love finding big lots of stuff because the more items you buy in bulk, the cheaper per price. So this is another Harley pen. I am a dollar in. I bought 600 of them at one time. And this next one sold for $20.98. This is a 1994 Harley Davidson Eagle pen. And I paid one, sold for $20.98, about a $15 profit. And the last item I am going to show you went out to a viewer. This is a vintage JJ brooch. Took about a year to sell. I paid, I think, three or four dollars for this at the antique mall. I do, I do look at antique malls. Sometimes you can find really good deals there. You just have to really, you do have to search for them because most are at collector's prices, but you will find some vendors that price very, very fair. So this is a large gold tone panther. Really, really cool brooch. I paid three to four dollars. It sold for 14, so it's about a five dollar profit, but it did go out to a viewer and I do really really appreciate when you buy things from my store definitely let me know you're a viewer so I can toss you some stickers in there I appreciate you all watching I hope you enjoyed seeing some of the rest of my sales I look forward to Thank seeing you so you much on. for tuning in I want to wish everyone a very Merry Christmas I hope you all have a wonderful Christmas stay safe and we will see you on the next one Dalton, you want to come tell him Merry Christmas? Are you done? Yeah. Dalton has his face painted like a kitty cat. He had his Christmas party today. Yeah. Tell him Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas! Say Happy New Year. Happy New Year! All right, I just wanted to show you some of this jewelry. We will be having a live this afternoon at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Whatnot. So come over and see us. We have some beautiful gemstone jewelry you can see here. There are real pearl bracelets, necklaces. We have some more of the amazing gemstone wrap bracelets you see here great great pieces these will all be at a five dollar starting price so come and see us on whatnot if you haven't joined yet use my link get fifteen dollars free and we will see you here in a few hours